Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 439. Describe the process and how closed or narrow angle glaucoma happens. The way closed or narrow angle glaucoma happens is first, if there is an enlargement or forward movement of the lens against the central iris, this will lead to obstruction of the normal aqueous flow through the pupil. So then if the aqueous flow is blocked at this level, this will cause the fluid buildup behind the iris. And this fluid buildup behind the iris pushes peripheral iris against the cornea. And this blocks the aqueous humor flow through the trabecular meshwork. And this is how closed or narrow angle glaucoma happens. What is chronic angle closure glaucoma? Chronic angle closure glaucoma is a type of glaucoma that's often asymptomatic and it happens with damage to the optic nerve and peripheral vision. What condition is referred to as true ophthalmic emergency? Acute angle closure glaucoma is what is considered to be true ophthalmic emergency. Describe how acute angle closure glaucoma happens. The way acute angle closure glaucoma happens is when there is increase in intraocular pressure, this pushes the iris forward and this will close the angle abruptly. Describe the classic clinical presentation of acute angle closure glaucoma. The classic clinical presentation of acute angle closure glaucoma is that it's a condition which is very painful with sudden vision loss, halos around light, rock hard eye, and frontal headaches are all going to be complaints seen in acute angle closure glaucoma. What is a drug that you would avoid in acute angle closure glaucoma? A drug not to give in acute angle closure glaucoma is epinephrine and the reason for this is because it has midriatic effects and midriatic just means a drug that causes the pupil of the eyes to dilate. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com. Dot com.